The president of Citizens United, David Bossie, is blasting Hillary Clinton after what he calls an attack on the First Amendment. The longtime Clinton rival was a key player in the controversial 2010 Supreme Court ruling that corporations can contribute to political campaigns. One America's Matt Shuck sat down with Bossie in a rare interview. David Bossie is the president and chairman of Citizens United, a conservative advocacy group perhaps best known for the controversy surrounding a 2008 film titled Hillary, the movie, a documentary that was critical of then presidential candidate Hillary Clinton. The film was scheduled to air on cable television right before the Democratic primaries in 2008 until the release was blocked by the federal government. Bossie took his case all the way to the Supreme Court, and in 2010, the landmark decision came down to where now corporations can advertise political messages without limits on how much they can spend. It sparked a fierce debate over money and politics. Flash forward six years, Hillary is running for president again, and recently spoke to reporters in Iowa challenging the press to ask presidential candidates whether they would overturn the Supreme Court's decision if elected, also known as a litmus test. Bossie is rarely seen doing interviews but I wanted to get his side of the story. In an exclusive interview, he sat down with One America News and talked all things Hillary. Uh, Hillary Clinton uh, saying that she will appoint a person to the Supreme Court who will not uphold and defend the First Amendment ought to frighten the American people. You know, you may disagree with a case. You may disagree with an outcome, uh, but to fundamentally want to throw away the First Amendment based on a case that was critical of you. Do you think that that reason is, is she's targeted you in the 2016 race? Well, see, she certainly knows uh, that we are currently producing a sequel to Hillary the movie. Uh, and that's one of the reasons that we have 20 uh, ongoing FOIA cases uh, at the State Department, uh, trying to uncover the connections, the interconnections of the State Department and the Clinton Foundation. Uh, we're really trying to, sh to uh, create the tapestry that is Clinton Inc. and how they run it. Uh, and that's one of the reasons that those 20 FOIAs have now turned into uh, five lawsuits in which federal judges are ordering the State Department to give us this material. And we've started that over, well over a year ago because we knew uh, the Clinton State Department, which is really people still in there, uh, in the State Department would be trying to play beat the clock and, and run this past Election Day. Matt Shuck, One America News, Washington.